traffic jams, overcrowded subways. When things get too tight on or under the ground, the only way to go is up. This is an essential key to future mobility. It solves so many problems. More and more cities are looking at airborne mobility to solve their congestion problems. We want to use our airspace because there's not enough room on the streets. As we see every day, they're already too full. The Autobahn project in Munich, for example, uses cable cars suspended on tracks 5 to 10 meters high. No stations are needed. The cars can stop and lower themselves to the ground anywhere. People who want to get on or off can tell the car by means of an app. The brainchild of a Munich startup, the pilot project is being built in a northern suburb. The Autobahn provides the comfort of individual vehicles for the price of public transport. It combines the advantages of today's public transport with the individual convenience of cars. We're in a position to equip a whole city with our network very fast and at very low cost. This animation shows how the Autobahn could be installed at Berlin's Potsdamer Platz, for example. The only question is whether cars will make way for the capsules from the sky as quickly as the video suggests. The UP bus project operates on two levels. The cable car can also drive like a bus. The concept was developed at RWTH University in Aachen at the Institute for Structural Mechanics and Lightweight Construction. Usually, the scientists here work on mobility solutions for space. Individual mobility is also of relevance to us because of all this talk of flying taxis transporting people around cities. Once we started thinking about individual mobility, we came to the conclusion that flying taxis are not the solution in cities. And that got us thinking. Flying is a good idea in principle, what other alternatives are there? And we came up with the adapted cable car. Cable cars are a familiar sight in South American cities. In the Bolivian capital La Paz and the Colombian capital Bogota, commuters can glide over the rooftops and the clogged up streets below. It's a pleasure most of Europe's historic old towns have had to go without so far. Any UNESCO heritage site, for example the cathedral in Aachen or other cultural obstacles, get in the way of the cable car. We'd like to link the cable car to the central train station, but most historic old towns don't have enough space for the tracks and landing spaces. The cable car cannot be built where it needs to go. In our opinion, that's why so few cable cars are built in Western Europe. So, how can Aachen's historic center be connected to airborne mobility solutions? If the cable car can't go in the air, we'll have to put it back on the ground and cover the last mile. That was the original idea, which we then combined with our expertise in satellite technology. The cable car is lowered onto a platform with four wheels and can drive like a bus. The car and platform are connected by a coupling device that the scientists developed to link satellite modules in space. That's the decisive aspect from satellite technology, the intelligent space connectors. We can connect four things to an interface, and that's what makes it so special. Inside we have the mechanical interface, which we use to connect the different modules. These pins conduct the electricity supply. Right in the middle we have the data transfer device, and this copper ring on the outside conducts heat. The space connector is the ideal transmitter to connect the cable car with the platform on wheels, which the scientists call the skateboard. That's all been confirmed in tests. Now, it's time for the further development of UpBus. 
the concept could transform inner city transport. And give city folks some of their ground space back. By raising the main traffic up a level, we free up all the space that's taken up by conventional traffic and give it back to the people without any downsides. We can even reach precise locations in the city centre by turning the cable cars into buses. This is essential for making public transport more attractive. It will draw people in, as opposed to forcing them onto public transportation with traffic bans and other restrictions. French carmaker Citroën also drew inspiration from the skateboard for this exciting form of public transportation. Clients can choose from a range of capsules for the platform, like a mobile fitness studio, for example. Or an exclusive lounge that turns inner city transport into a luxury cruise. Give you back access to the city. Make sure that the time you spend in transport is qualitative time, valuable time for you. The skateboard concept is also key to a joint venture being worked on by the companies Ital Design and Airbus. A passenger cab that can be either flown by quadcopter or driven by means of a platform on four wheels. The project is called Pop-Up and promises a new kind of individual mobility in cities. But it wouldn't work without a connector, like the one built for space by the scientists in Aachen. This plug is key to transmodular transport. I see lots of videos of cars connected to quadcopters and flying, but you need fairy dust to do that, and we've got it. What goes up must come down. So airborne transport needs some kind of connection to ground level, too. And that stairway to heaven may well be the key to future urban mobility.